Hey guys, Jason. And today I'm going to be discussing the Bitcoin Core update version 0.9.2.1. And yes, that is a mouthful. Um, again, with a .1 version, it's always referring to there being minor updates. Nothing usually very critical because, again, it is a sub-update. I mean, it is an update and it is recognized and it is encouraged that you download. But it usually fixes minor issues. Things aren't really, um, you know, pressing. So I got an email asking me, you know, if they could, if I could explain the change log and all the different various um, minor updates, the very tedious little things that um, really nobody has any idea. You know, if you don't have any coding skill, you don't know any programming skill, it might not make um, uh, make much sense to you, you know, in layman's terms. And in reality, they don't really do much. I, and I know I don't want to downplay, downplay whatsoever what the developers do. But again, it is a minor update. It's basically fixing little things that were on a list of a uh, to-do list of fixing. And that's pretty much what got done. There are two things that I did flag that I thought were kind of interesting that the average user might like and they might find interesting um, or resourceful. So the first one being, um, and this one is kind of copied from Litecoin because it's kind of strange. Usually Bitcoin, you know, is the predecessor or the beginning person, and then all the other cryptocurrencies kind of follow updates going back to Bitcoin. And in Litecoin, one of the things is, is say you have um, your you haven't opened your wallet up for 15 days. Well, that's 15 days. They will say, you know. 15 days, you know, behind in the little green bar at the bottom. Well, instead, um, what it does in Litecoin, it will, it will say two weeks in one day. Well, they've implemented that into the Bitcoin client. So now, if you're, you know, you're 15 days behind, instead of saying 15 days, they'll say two weeks in one day. Again, very simple. Um, probably not that important, but it is a GUI. Um, you know, people might ask me what a GUI is. I guess I should abbreviate. Um, a GUI is a graphic user interface, which is essentially what you the visuals of the client. And I, I guess I shouldn't abbreviate GUI because not everybody knows what GUI stands for. The second update is that this is actually kind of interesting. It's a lot more important than you might think. So we have all had a, an issue where we accidentally press the power button, or like in my case yesterday, my cat got on my computer and pressed the power button, and um, all your programs, Windows operating system tries to start closing out all your programs. One of the things they added is, and you might know this from another <laughs> incidence, if a program closes without being saved, it can become corrupt, it can cause error in the software, and one of the things that they added in this update is if your computer goes into shutdown mode, Bitcoin will instantly, the Bitcoin Core program, will go into saving mode. So before it allows Windows to forcefully shut it down, it will um, initiate a save mode, a safe save mode, so that it, all your stuff that is being currently done in the Bitcoin client can be safely closed without any corruption or you know data loss issues which I think is probably the biggest update or biggest part of the update in this entire miniature update again most of the stuff is pretty small um, not even really that noteworthy although I do want to give credit to the developers great job but it is just stuff that in layman's terms you're not going to see visually it's you know underneath the hood as we use, usually say it you know you fix something that's underneath the hood is never visually seen as a difference but it's actually improved processing power and um, algorithm al um, and algorithmic um, analyzations and stuff um, just basically how the client itself um, operates so that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys have a great day